Alrighty, hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today I'm actually doing a super short video just on some storage tips for you guys. Um, we've had some questions about the best ways to store your buds, and so this is just that little video for you guys. I am vaping a little bit of our lifter today while I'm doing this video, just because I enjoy it. And just a reminder for those of you who don't know me, I am Braylon. I am Cascadia Bloom's social media person. Um, so I just make some YouTube videos for you guys and I am interacting with you guys on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, so hello, welcome back. Uh, today, so we're gonna talk about storage. Just a few tips for you guys to have your best storage options um, to make your bud last the longest and the best. Um, so the big things I would say are keep out of direct sunlight and keep in a sealed container so that moisture does not produce, okay? Um, so out of sunlight, you don't want it drying out or anything. Don't keep it in direct sunlight. That doesn't mean keep it in like a dark area. I just keep mine either next to my bed stand or I have like a little container that I keep it all in, but not net, like don't keep it in your car, don't keep it on the window seal, stuff like that. Um, for a sealed container, you don't want any moisture getting in there that can cause problems. So you want it to stay the best for the longest. So something sealed, I prefer mason jars for my bud. You can also use um, like a sealable bag. Some people use Ziploc bags, it's not the best. You can use those snap cap pops, like a pill bottle and stuff. People use those. This is what you get in dispensaries usually. Um, so those are just a few options for you guys. With that said, like, um, don't keep it in your car. Like I said, that can cause problems with moisture. Also, again, with heat and direct sunlight, which you don't want, you want it to be in kind of a temperature controlled area. Um, so you don't want it freezing. You don't want it to be too warm in there because those both can cause moisture and drying out problems. Um, I've heard some people say that they keep it in like the fridge or the freezer. I don't recommend that just because again, moisture, you don't want that happening. You don't want moisture going in there. That's not good. Um, this is, you know, a product that has a shelf life. So you want to keep it best the longest. And I know some people think like perishable item, keep it in the fridge. You don't want to keep it in the fridge or the freezer. Okay. Um, those are really just the few tips that I have for you guys. If you have anything extra that you think is beneficial, leave it down below and we can add it on. Um, we just have had this question a couple times, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of how to on how I store my bud the best, what we do um, you know, at the farm the best, um, which obviously is kept in a lot larger quantity and we actually store in a temperature controlled, humidity controlled room. Um, but if you don't have all that, these are your best options, okay? Um, that is it for today. Just a super short video for you guys. But again, questions or comments down below for me and we'll get back to you. I am not an absolute pro on this. So if you have like some more helpful tips down below that we can add on, totally put that down below. Let us know nicely um, and we can add that in. Okay. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later.